In this video, I'm going to show you five proven to work, almost foolproof, mixing vocal chains with all the insert and all the effects, reverbs, delay, and all that. I'm going to go through four different styles and genres, a female smooth ethereal vocal, a male hard hitting trap vocal, a male rock vocal, and a more generic modern hip hop vocal you can probably apply to everything. The fifth one is going to be a collection of some of my favorite special effects that I built throughout the years and I use in several mixes and also a couple of quick and easy foolproof plugins that you can throw on your vocals if you want to get a demo done fast or something like that. The first part, one of the two hip hop trap vocals and the special effects collection is going to be available for everyone for free here on the channel. The second part, the other three styles is going to be available for members only as probably most of the new and upcoming mixing and mastering tutorials and courses here on the channel. If you want to join and become a member, click the join button down here, see all the perks of becoming a Mixbus TV member, which also includes mix consultations with me via Skype or email. Let's get to the video. Before we start, check the info box down below for my mixing courses on Pro Mix Academy, free plugins, special offers and discounts, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let's break down the first aggressive hip hop trap vocal. All right, let's take a quick listen to the finished track. Man, fuck a Medgar Hoover cops. Fucking losers, watch me write these bars in Google Docs. Then spot me copping glocks and hopping out of Uber cars to pop so many rugas off these goobers won't know who to call. And when they get blasted with the chrome, the blood splatters in the pattern like fucking endless out the dome. I carry my city like I'm Atlas with the globe. And if these rappers didn't know I'm the fucking baddest, let them know. Let them know I'm the Leviathan. Let them know, let them know I don't admire them. All right, so as you can hear, is a pretty aggressive in your face vocal. There's quite some effects in it. It's for the most part pretty dry. Yet, I think this is interesting because my dry is never dry. It's invisible ambient, and that's how I call it. Now, what I'm going to show you here is an adaptation of what I actually used for this mix. I break down this entire mix in another video for members only. I don't know if the first part, free for everybody, is going to be out uh, before this video or after. But anyway, I took as a starting point what I used in this mix, and I tried to make a more universal chain so you can use it as a starting point or even use it as a template really uh, for your mixes. So let's solo the vocal first. Cause if they try to throw me in the handcuffs, I got my codies with the handguns, the puppet police if they act tough. All right, so this is the dry bare vocals with absolutely nothing but uh, Waves SSLG. And this is the first plugin uh, for this vocal chain, okay? so. I usually you will see me using the SSLG as first slot on everything, not just vocal, just because I love this plugin, I love the EQ, I love the compressor, and I love particularly the EQ of the G more than the E because of the frequency multiplier at the mid frequency and the frequency divider at the low mid frequency. In this case, you can see I'm using filters at first and a little bit of gate because the vocal came with a little bit of ambient from the recording. So this is a really good first processing that you can do on pretty much any vocal. I'm not doing any cleaning, just the filter, stop and bottom, but the gate works really well. And I'm OG like Montana. I don't mean French or Hannah, more like Tony from Havana. It tightens things up a little bit and before going into heavy compression and we will see parallel saturation and compression, you want to clean everything before hitting those stages because every stage is going to bring up that little bit of room, which at the end is going to probably be a problem and too much reverb for this kind of vocal. Okay, so this is the first one. Okay, the second one is a limiter. In this case, I use Pro L2 because I want it really, really transparent because the recording was a little gritty. But these plugins are just an indication aside from specific like the SSLG. Uh, you can use any transparent limiter. Sometimes I use L1 still, especially when I go out of the box and I hit hardware. I want to tame, see things like this, these super tall uh, spikes that happened here and there in the vocal. So the use of it is usually 1 to 2 dB. Now, in this case, like I said, I use L2 because I wanted to limit this a little more. I went up to 3 dB before um, hitting my hardware. This is not just for hardware, okay? The reasons here are two. One, you don't want your compressor to swing too much 
when these tall peaks happen, especially if you're using like an LA-2A style compressor, it will swing really hard uh, on those tall peaks. And the second reason connected to the first one is you don't want to have to set your compressor to just catch those because it's not gonna be enough compression. And some people use two compressors one after another. I, I think this is a lot easier and it works better. The limiter, brick wall limiters are meant to be transparent. So what's more transparent than this? If you set it correctly and you don't overdo it. Like I said, in this case, I went pretty heavy handed with this, but let's see how much is reducing. Cause they all hype on life. Bro, I'm a cross between DMX and Sean Price. I'm kind of godlike, the final boss type. Y'all silly trying to kill me. I already spawned twice. All right, it seems a lot, four to five dB at times, but it's really fast transient. You can't hear any distortion or anything like that. You can probably not even notice that any difference. Cause they all hype on life. Bro, I'm a cross between DMX and Sean Price. I'm kind of godlike, the final boss type. Y'all silly trying to it actually started to tighten the dynamics. For this kind of vocal, the first choice for me is the distressor. If you don't have an hardware distressor, there are several uh, plugins that you can use. The one that I like is, of course, the Empirical Lab Arouser, which, no, it doesn't sound like a distressor, but it's a good substitute if you want. So let's try this. Cause they all hype on life. Bro, I'm a cross between DMX and Sean Price. I'm kind of godlike, the final boss type. Y'all silly trying to kill me. I already spawned twice. Without? Cause they all hype on life. Bro, I'm a cross between DMX and Sean Price. I'm kind of godlike, the final boss type. Now, for this kind of vocal, I usually push it hard with the hardware. With the plugin, I probably go a little uh, lighter. Cause they all hype on life Bro, I'm a cross between DMX and Sean Price I'm kinda godlike, the final boss type Y'all silly trying to kill me, I already spawned twice Two things you notice, aside the dynamic being more solid and contained I added a little bit of saturation But there's a little bit of low mid coming up after compression, okay? We're gonna take care with an EQ after that And also you start hearing that ambient that I told you uh, we try to tame with the SSL gate. In the mix is not noticeable, but always try to clean up tracks like that. For this style of vocal, it can be a distressor, it can be an 1176, it can be a dynamite. It can be also be a, a VCA compressor that is pretty fast and aggressive. I'm using the arouser, which is colored already. If you want a little less color, you can use the H comp from Waves is great. Proceed if you want totally clean. The Pi compressor from Waves is also good for this one, but, but we'll stick for now for the distressor. After, you want to clean up EQ if you need it. In this case, we need it, and you can see here, I'm not going to break down uh, this vocal in particular, like I said, but you notice something happens with compression. Either, either it muffles the top end or it brings up some resonance either on the room on the mic that you want to take care of after. Sometimes you will need to remove something before. In this case, I just use filters, but sometimes there's maybe too much for a harsh vocal, 3K, 4K, that if you add a compressor with saturation, it will bring it up even more. So you wanna tame it before hitting the compressor. In this case, I didn't have any of that, uh, so I didn't need to. But after the compressor, the correction EQ, so. Cause they all hype on life Bro, I'm a cross between DMX and Sean Price I'm kinda god This frequency here Silly trying to kill me, I already spawned Alright, boxiness and boominess And this is a 3K This cut is because we, sh we will start adding parallel compression and effects And this frequency will start building up So uh, filters, gate, limiting compression, your main compression, a corrective EQ if you need it, and then an enhancing EQ. In this case, I re-added a little bit of body. We took out some low mid and I added some low in this case and some highs. Cause they all hype on life. Bro, I'm a cross between DMX and Sean Price. I'm kind of godlike. After taking care of the dynamics, we correct the tone, we enhance the tone, and now we start enhancing the color of this vocal. For this kind of vocals, I want it gritty, I want it in your face, I want it saturated. One good choice is vintage tape from Ozone, which also helps you take care of more dynamic. Cause they all hype on life. Bro, I'm a cross between DMX and Sean Price. I'm kind of godlike, the final boss type. Y'all silly trying to kill me, I already spawned twice. It's subtle, you can drive it 
really hard if you want. Because they all hype on life, bro. I'm a cross between DMX. But we have more to come. So uh, we clean up and ants and we start coloring. After this processing, you might need the essing. Because they all hype on life, bro. I'm a cross between DMX and Sean Price. I'm kind of godlike, the final boss type. Y'all silly trying to kill me. I if you have to remove harshness in general, on a vocal, I like Pro DS very much. If you want to be really, really precise and just tailor and just catch only those frequencies and those S's or hard consonant, uh, and you want to really be precise, even if it takes a little more tweaking, nothing beats the uh, bass. Uh, the esser. Cause they all hype on life, bro. I'm a cross between DMX and Sean. Boss type. Already. I'm gonna leave that on, and after we de-assed, again, you see the trend is a push pull of removing and then trying to re-add in a more pleasant way. In this case, we remove the top end dynamically with the vase, so we can boost a little bit of air. You see also the trend we correct very precisely and we boost and enhance in broad strokes. Cause they all hype on life, bro. I'm a cross between DMX and Sean Price. I'm kinda godlike, the final boss type. Y'all silly trying to kill me, I already spawned twice. All right, I absolutely love the curve bender for anything mid range and top end. Now this is the insert. You can take that as a starting point for this kind of vocal. Again, for me a must is usually a parallel vocal. In this case, I went very, very simple. The SSL is open because I open it on everything by default and I just parallel this vocal to this aux track and I added Decapitator as a saturator. You can use any other saturator in the other styles, uh, especially in the other hip hop vocal. I will give you several of my favorite saturators for parallel vocals, okay? Let me turn the volume up a bit so you can hear what it does. This is soloed. This is the parallel distorted soloed. Cause they all hype on life, bro. I'm a cross between DMX and Sean Price. I'm kind of godlike, the final boss type. Y'all silly trying to kill me. All right, this is to taste how much saturation do you want. One important thing when you saturate, always pay attention to the filter, high cut and low cut, because if I remove these two, Cause they all hype on life, bro. I'm a cross between DMX and Sean Price. I'm kind of godlike, the final boss type. Y'all silly trying to kill me. I already spawned twice. Especially the high end gets really harsh, really fast. So make sure you band limit your, your parallel saturation, your saturation. This one is really low in the mix. Let's go back to the original volume. Cause they all hype on life, bro. I'm a cross between DMX and Sean Price. I'm kind of godlike, the final boss type. Y'all silly trying to kill me. I already spawned twice. All right, but it adds thickness and it, it brings up the, not only aggression, but the low level information. So more detail. Now for this vocal, I have several vocal and I have some more processing in the all vocal bus. This is not for this video. I actually, like I said, I'm breaking down this this full mix in in the members only video but let's take a look for this chain of what i call the, my static effects and for this genre the invisible so to speak um ambience the first one is this you can hear how weird the stereo image is that's on purpose of course for this one ssl doing nothing i used a very very short delay this is one of my presets for that I have made for uh, the 2290. This is a plugin. Okay, it has a controller, but it has a plugin. Uh, this is my personal preset that I used on vocals. And this, when you put it so low in volume, it just adds it adds both depth, you know, width. Now let me go back to the original. Volume is really, really low in the mix. As they all hype on life, bro, I'm across. Cause they all hype on life, bro. I'm a cross between DMX. If you want to replicate this one and you don't have the 2219, you can see the time is 45 milliseconds. And I have another video on uh, um, switching, inverting the phase of one of the two channels. So if you have a stereo, just open dual mono uh, trim plugin. You, you try to invert the phase on one of the channels, see what happens. Or you can play with 
the timing left and right. In this case, a 2290 is perfect for, for this kind of stuff. It has some very subtle modulation that you can trigger in different ways, but any short delay with a modulation on it, so a little bit of flanger, a little bit of uh, chorus, maybe maybe on only on one channel will do. If you want to dirty it up or not, that's up to you. The second static effects for this lead is a reverb. And for this genre, I believe it or not, is still one of the most used plugins out there is the D-verb from uh, stock Pro Tools. Now, originally I called this slap uh, to automate because I wanted to do something different with this. Uh, it can be a slap delay. It can be, uh, instead of a reverb, a slap delay with some reverb on. We will see something like that in the other um, hip hop trap vocals in the second part of this two part video. But this is a very simple, this, like I said, is a pretty standard reverb for even big production, believe it or not, because they usually do a rough mix. They throw this one in and they get used to the, to the sound of it. And it actually sounds good. And it ends up in, you know, many uh, releases, many major releases, this reverb. But anyway, but anyway, the SSL is not doing anything. This I like uh, for this plugin, usually the hall or the rooms. So it's very subtle. One thing to notice is it's very dark. For this kind of vocal, you don't want sparkly delay usually, okay? You want greedy and dark, just to give, again, some depth to the lead. And these two together create what I call, this is one of the many versions that I have um, to create invisible ambient. So these are the lead dry with the two ambient. Cause they all hype on life Bro, I'm a cross between DMX and Sean Price I'm kinda godlike The final boss type Ya silly trying to kill me I This is with a parallel which is one thing with the lead so Let's play another spot And y'all be drip dropping in Gucci tops and Louboutins New Balenciagas, Louboutins I'm still rocking FUBU hoodies with some Puma socks Like it's 92 and I'm popping locking on boulevards Okay, there's a difference between just dry and you just don't do anything and something like this that is what I call invisible ambient with a mix going it's really hard to tell what's in there but there's something that makes the vocal not sound like a demo so to speak after this for this genre is very important is the special effects and throws I feel like those more than the static effects is what make or break a mix and I take my time I build custom effects and throw delays for every mix so i'm gonna share this with you we have a couple here at the beginning man i got a lot of these nerds asking how he that six shit is in english like his third language all right that's the first one english like his third language okay this is very common effect the pitch down double i only had one vocal here so i created my doubles and my ad libs basically to create something like that in this case i used ssl is not doing anything really and Alter Boy is my favorite for the pitch down effects. So let me solo it for you. Shit is in English like it's third language. language. Shit is in There's also in other parts here. You can use them to ramp up a section, something like that. You can see the settings. After something like this, you need to box in this sound. Okay. You want to band pass it and limit the frequency range. Without it, it would sound like this. Too much, okay? It stomps on the lead vocal. So you want to band pass. Again, these are just example. This band pass here, it can be anywhere, you know, depending on what vocal are you mixing. After that, you want to keep this one pinned down. So, CLA76 is one of my favorite plug-in compressors. It doesn't just pin it down, but it adds density and body to it, especially the blue version. Take no prisoner. This is an effect vocal. Just slam it. Okay. So we are about 12 dB of compression. After that, I didn't want this mono in this case. 
Uh, this is, you can use, like I said, this chain as a starting point for everything. If you want a mono, you can stop there, but in this case, mono to me it sounded boring. It's a freedom, leave a bleeding out of power, lead a wild, lead a down, beat a lead brown. You can see the settings. I'm using two doubles left and right. I didn't move the pitch, I think, or detune at all. You can use a stereo delay and just move a few milliseconds left and right. But I keep the center here. That's important. So no, you can use no, you cannot use a, a simple delay. You need this uh, because if you remove the center, it, it lose power. Massive difference. Okay, so definitely you want the center there and the doubles um, left and right. You can see this vocal. I use it pretty often here. Carry my city like a madless with the globe and if these rappers didn't know I'm the fucking baddest let them know. Another special effects that you can use for this kind of vocal is the pitch down delay. So same concept that the one that we just saw. In this case you can see the send. I'm sending it here only in this spot and for the pitch down delay let me let me put it up for you. Faggots, what I'ma call these rappers? Can't use the word faggot. Because they all hype on Aside the word, let me just talk technically what I did. The SSL is not doing anything, and I use Echo Boy with two instances of Altar Boy. Because if you hear, so this is without Echo Boy. Of course, it just repeats. Faggot, 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 faggot. With Altar Boy. We pitched it down just we did for the previous vocal, but after it, you can see the automation here. There's a scale down, all right? The second um, alter boy is automated to go down in pitch every repeat. Every repeat, it pitches down more and more, okay? So this is another special effects. And then we have some throws, more regular throws, which should be this tie delay between DMX and Sean Price. I'm kind of godlike, the final boss type. Yes. And again, I used uh, the TC2219, just one of my favorite delays. In this case, this throw, I want it clean because we have a lot of pitch down and distorted effects and stuff like that. So simple throw like that. Uh, there's nothing to it, really. You need a clean you know, throw. So this is a good choice. You can use any, any delay. I think in this case, it's just quarters. Between DMX and show and price, I'm kind of god like the final boss. One thing that I like about this uh, delay is the panning, so it pans, it's not just a ping pong delay, it pans in different ways depending on what you trigger the pan with. It could be a sine wave, it could be an envelope, it could be the dry vocals, and you can reverse, you can do a lot of things. So, all right, and then we have another reverb, another throw, which is a little more complicated than that. Let me see the sand so I can see this one I used more often in the song. So let's listen to it. And it's this one here. Get the handguns, the puppet police, if they act tough. Cause we got like four keys in the back of the OG. We roll deep, man, it go deep in the bang bus. We so street like go teeth and bandana. So please, y'all so weak, y'all like both knees on a grandma. So this is, uh, this is a, something that I do very, very often. I don't like my delays dry, aside from that one that we saw before, which is literally one shot. I created that one just for one throw in the song. This is my main throw delay, as you can see. Uh, I use repeater. You can see the settings. It's just, again, another panning left and right. It's like it's 92 and I'm popping locking on boulevards. It's more contained, the panning. Um, than the other one because I use it very often otherwise you know you give people headache if you spin left and right delays all the time in the song but the, the important part is what comes after it's not dry I just put a whole reverb on it so it's a little more diffused it's like it's 92 and I'm popping locking on boulevards and it does make a difference this is by the way a very colored delay is copy cube from uh repeater by D16 and after it because like we said at the beginning the 3k area adds up with the parallel and all the other even if they're invisible ambient and really low it still adds up so I removed the 3k frequency from the dealer it's like it's 92 and I'm popping locking on boulevards 
right it also makes it a little darker it sits a little uh better with the vocal which remains up in your face is the see this is important the the remember the the lead vocal in this case is the brightest element of all the effects and all the things that we have going on vocal wise not in the entire mix sometimes the vocal is the brightest element in the mix sometimes it does in this case it's pretty dark i love it the um, percussion symbols and stuff not in this case but it happens so this was the first hard-hitting uh, hip-hop trap vocal uh, the most important things here are the control, dynamic control, and the push-pull between removing S's and harsh consonants and adding parallel compression, parallel distortion to make it steady and dense and always there. So now let's see the special effects and a couple of easy-to-use plugins and short chains for a quick demo or just if you want to get something out really quick.